So after five weeks, actually six weeks, I finally received the B-Stock Costco palette. And on the other side of the intro, we're gonna open it and see what we have. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel, Flippin' Ain't Easy. This is John, and as promised weeks ago, I promised you that we would have a B-Stock uh, haul video. This is a liquidation palette that I bought from uh, B-Stock at the beginning of the year. It's from Costco, uh, estimated uh, MSRP is a little bit over 18,000. I think it's like 18,500. With shipping, it uh, ran about 34, 33, 3400 dollars, somewhere in between there. And uh, that put me, I think, about 17, 18% MSRP, which is a little higher than I wanted to pay and what I usually try to pay. But I've been wanting to buy one of these pallets for a while. 20% MSRP uh, is probably my max, so I didn't, I didn't exceed that. And this has, uh, supposed to have a, all electronics. It's gonna have Sony, it's gonna have all kinds of different brands. There's some replenishables. I have some uh, nice, hopefully nice, uh, Sony headsets in here. And uh, so let's go ahead and get started. But before we do, please do me a favor, smash that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you are subscribed, consider hitting that notification bell so you're notified next time I make this video. And also comment down below what you think of uh, this palette and uh, did I do a good job or did I do a, a bad job in sourcing this? So we haven't opened it. I have no idea what's other than what the manifest says. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and start. And the, these are un, untested customer returns. So anything that you can buy at Costco is potential for a return here. But this is manifested, so I'm not going to have surprises like a lot of the ones that I've done in the past. So uh, we have some anchor charging cables and uh, these are lightning cables. I think they're on the manifest. I, I believe they're. I believe these are about maybe twenty or thirty bucks. But you have a four pack, and there's a, there's quite a few of these, and I'll have to take a look. I mean, some people return these in in grocery bags, believe it or not. So that's that's kind of a bummer. Uh, we have a JBL Horizon Bluetooth speaker has the time and all that on there and that's an open box item people buy it they put it back in the box they don't quite know how to navigate the internal packaging and uh, of course it comes back semi open so we'll have to, to test this this is why for me sourcing takes a little bit of time because I have to go and inspect and make sure everything's in there I have to plug it in I have to check the features make sure it works and it's not like I have a shirt that I'm putting up and I'm listing you know, maybe measuring the, the sleeves or whatever. This is a little bit different. It has a little bit different component to it. I put this down here. So here's a Sony WH-1000XM3. I think these are the ones that go for $199. That's closer. Okay. And of course, the way I'm recording this, it's backwards. So I apologize, but just know it's Sony. I think there's about 180 units in this thing, so it may take a while. So a lot of times, here's the big problem with liquidation. They love stickers, they love sticky things. They love sticking things and notices and labels onto existing packaging, which sometimes can destroy the actual integrity of the packaging. Uh, this one is a um, WH H910N here on three wireless. I think these go for 299 at Costco. And I'm supposed to have about 20 of those. So. so 
So this is now my fourth one of these. And uh, like reason, other, comments, sore. I don't understand what that means. Maybe it made your ear hurt. So we'll have to check and see. Untested customer returns, if you have never watched one of my unboxing videos before, can be any condition, can be used, can be brand new in the box and anything in between. Can be broken. I think about 20% of the items that I get in, in uh, liquidation pallets end up being broken. Uh, this one here, wow. It says that, uh, it says salvage. That's the last word you want to see in a liquidation pallet is salvage. Didn't want, need, like, and the comment says don't want. And I have no idea what it is. Look how absolutely disgusting that is. It's uh, an Uma Tello. Looks like you hook your telephone to it. I don't know. If it's salvage, it probably doesn't work and it's probably going to go right in the, the dirt can. Huh? Uma, yeah, is it on there? So I have Jenna in the back. She's actually going through yeah, the manifest. So what you want to do is when you buy these kind of pallets, um, B stock and like liquidation.com, they're middlemen to Costco. And so if there's a problem with the pallet, maybe something doesn't arrive. It's not so much condition, it's is it here? And so we're making sure that every item on the manifest is accounted for. If it's not here, then what we do is we simply uh, contact uh, B-Stock and let them know there was a problem with the shipment and uh, it was missing certain items. And of course, okay, and there's only one of those, so I don't really care about that so much. And uh, does it have a value? $169.99. Okay, so they say that's $169.99. Maybe someone will buy it, salvage, who knows. But. Uh, I wouldn't sell it if it doesn't work unless it sells for parts or repair. This is a Nighthawk. Oh, this is my neighbor was over here earlier wanting me to tell him if I had a router. I had a, a, a Netgear AC1750, which is okay from my last pallet. But uh, yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, this one's a Netgear Mesh Wi Fi 6 system. And uh, it's Nighthawk, and it's probably better than what I have. What is that value at? Wait for the value. So that's a $200 router. What do we got here? We have a Lenovo Yoga Mouse. You've heard of a Yoga Mouse. That's what it looks like. It's a Yoga Mouse. Little thin little thing. Okay. Here we have another one of those $299 Sony noise canceling headsets. That is the right price, right? $299? Yes. Okay. Here's another one. Here on. I'm encouraged. You know, generally I don't like dealing with headphones. I couldn't pass up on this deal. You know, a lot of the Costco liquidation auctions on B stock go for way more than 20% MSRP. And I love the fact that the boxes are in good shape. And I'm trying to go as fast as I can, but uh, my assistant is cataloging this and I can't go all that fast. Here's a Power Beats. And again, I love the sticky things. It's your Power Beats, a Dre, and I think these are like 100 bucks. They only go for about 40 or 50, I think. 
to the goal here is we're dealing with 18,000 MSRP, uh, purchase price 33.34. So if we can turn this into 10, I'm happy. And if we turn it into 12, like I think we will, 12 or 13, then it's even, it's gravy. And the good thing is you're dealing with replenishables on these. So again, here's another Power Beats by Dre. I'm not sure if he's even affiliated with them anymore. It says review instructions before. So this is the, the labeling they tell the customer. So the customer goes on online, they file the, the return, and then they tell them to print this package and put it on, use their own sticky stuff and put it on the package and send it back. And that's kind of what it is. Uh, the ones that don't have this are in-store returns. And this one says reason, quality concern, keeps dropping connection. So again, this is what I'm talking about. When I source this stuff, I have to now fire this up. I have to probably try to use it for about four or five, 10 minutes and see, make sure it keeps a connection. Could be that their phone was a problem. And if, you know, we, we had a, someone that posted a remark earlier this evening about how they buy brand new items and that's great, but I gotta tell you, your margin is gonna be smaller than mine, but your headaches are gonna be less than mine. So it's it's a trade-off for sure. And uh, I don't know, I, I just like the, the margins. I like being able to find home runs at 10 cents to 20 cents on the dollar. And uh, I just don't really wanna spend 50 cents, uh, 60 cents cost of goods on a new item and maybe not have it sell, but. 70 to 80 percent of MSRP. There's an anchor uh, little set. It's funny. Okay, they open the back. It says they don't like. I mean, it's a charger. What can you not like about a charger? Here is a JBL portable Bluetooth speaker, and it almost looks like, I forgot the model number, but it's, it's powered by Harman Kardon, which is a good brand. And this one looks to me brand new. I don't see any sign of them removing the speaker from the packaging. And so, reason, didn't want, need, like. So maybe they got it for Christmas and they just decided, you know what, I don't like the way it's shaped, I don't like the way it looks, and therefore I'm taking it back. There's another Harman Kardon. Uh, I'd like to say that this one has not been opened. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think it has. Yeah, I think it has on the bottom here. They've opened it and they've taped it up so it stays together. No reason given as to why they returned it. And another thing, reasons that they put on packages on these liquidations don't mean a darn thing. Um, my experience with direct liquidation is that they will put those stickers, the Walmart rep. In this case, I was dealing with Walmart returns. And the Walmart rep will just put any reason. I mean, it could be brand new and they'll put, uh, you know, doesn't work. And I noticed that. And a lot of the times those items that say don't work or defective will work perfectly fine. Here's an extra base, Sony extra base SRX XB3. Okay. And, uh, this one looks like it may have been opened. It says, didn't need, didn't want, need, like, didn't need. And see, that's what I'm saying. You're gonna get a lot of those like that. Here is a JBL uh, Reflect Zone. Reflect Contour 2, I'm sorry. All these stickers block everything. And this one says, other comments used. Um, yeah, so someone may have used that, but it may be just fine. Here's a uh, NBO. I don't know what that is. I don't know who makes this. It's a graphite brown. Okay, Bang and Olufsen. That's a that's okay. That's a really good brand. This one says quality concern defective. So I'd have to check into this. 
but uh, it is a very good brand of uh, head, uh, their earbuds, I believe. Uh, Non-sellable. Well, I can guess why. These Beats don't have any Beats. So, I don't know. Didn't want, need, like. Maybe they're inside. I don't know. I have the stuff on the back, on the top. But they use, anybody ever go to Costco and uh, buy a bunch of stuff? They use these uh, produce boxes. And that's what they've done here. And they have them sort of secured where I'm probably gonna have to, in a little bit, have to pause this video and remove some of the top layers of boxes here. But uh, let's keep going. We have JBL Horizon. You've seen that before. Um, Reason uh, did not work for her. So maybe it'll work for him. I don't know. We have a three pack of uh, Google Home. Uh, didn't want, need, like. 99 bucks for the three. They're all sealed. Okay, those are my favorite. Not didn't want, need, or like. Here is a UB, UBO Labs. It's a lightning cable three pack. Okay, it's probably not a very expensive item. Here's some, uh, QC smart security systems. I've actually sold some QC cameras. Now I believe this is a Chinese Chinese brand, uh, but looks like these are the extension cables, the the coaxial video power cables uh, that go to those those cameras. And it's like maybe they don't have a wired uh, a, a wireless system. They have a wired system, and they want to extend their uh, their coverage to 100 feet, and that's what these are for. Looks like the the boxes are have been sitting around stained uh did not need like didn't want so maybe they bought it didn't need it costco has a very generous return policy unfortunately so they might have held on to it for a while here's one quality concern didn't like used well i don't know one of these we've seen good thing about this is i'm looking at about 10 different listings and as I test these items out, I can just add to my quantity. So I don't have to wait till I test them all. I can start after I have a couple tested. More sync and charge cables from Anchor. Anchor's a decent brand. They're sort of up and coming. They've been around for a little while, but I remember when Anchor had, they were like the generic uh, brand, like, like uh, Lee Power was. If anybody who's watched my videos knows how I love Lee Power. You should go out and buy Lee Power stuff because it's such a great company. All right, so we get a chance to see what these Sony headphones look like because whoever returned these decided they liked the box so much that they weren't going to return the box. And I just don't understand why retail stores allow the customer to return these items back without the retail packaging. And it's probably because they don't care. They're not going to keep these items. They're going to liquidate them anyway. But I just don't know. These are nice. These are pretty nice. Okay, you see that? Pretty nice Sony headphones. Has a little charger in the bag. Um, these these don't look to be used at all, honestly. No scuffing. No anything on them. Of course, I can't sell these as new, but I can definitely sell them as used in very good condition. And I think my cost on all these items is right around 10 to these? those, I don't know. If you're missing a head, headset, then we'll just mark it down. But uh, 10, 11 bucks cost of goods. I mean, selling these, these uh, 
Sony's probably about 80, 90 bucks a piece, and uh, probably shouldn't have a problem. I don't know. Okay, so we have a JBL Reflect. Again, they didn't re return the entire packaging. Didn't want, need, like, didn't like. I just got through selling a, a Jabra uh, set of earbuds that were in good condition but had no box. And th those things went for like 35 bucks. And so, you know, depending on what these run, I'm looking at 25 to 35 bucks on something like that. Here's those uh, Anchor uh, chargers. And it uses the, the USB-C connection. So these are more for if you have like the iPad Pro or uh, Maybe a, I, I, the a Mac, but I don't think it would give enough juice on those parts. <laughs> when you buy these liquidation pallets, like I said, make sure, even if it says salvage or broken, you're not discounting it, you're trying it and not throwing it away. These are some Panasonic phones, it's like a phone set. They returned the whole set and uh, they said it stopped working. Maybe they didn't pay their phone bill. I don't know, but we're gonna try these out anyway and see if they work. Wrong size color, so clearly you see it's a white set of charging cables, but they bought it and got the wrong color. So as my luck would turn out, um, I, it looks like I ran out of space or something caused, and I believe I ran out of space, but it caused the video to stop. And um, so that's what we did. We were able to get about two thirds of the palette on video and that's not a bad thing you you really didn't miss a whole lot there's more of the same a lot of the, uh, the same type of item and you know I would have to rate this palette if I'm if I'm being totally honest I'd rate it about a B minus to a C plus and the reason is this um, looking through this we ended up getting most of what we were supposed to get however the most expensive item it's an Onkyo TX-NR595 receiver, and that's uh, not there, $399.99. Uh, missing a couple other things, really not that big of a deal, but I am gonna say something to B-Stock. They do have a, a way to report whenever something's missing, but that's just the way it is with liquidation. Sometimes you get more items than what uh, you expect, and sometimes uh, you don't get all the items that you're supposed to get. Now I have an issue when there's one of that item, what happened to it? Where, where did it go? What made you write it on the manifest? Um, you know, we have some replenishables here. We had 20 of the Anchor Powerline cables, 21 of the Powerbeats 3, 20 of the JBL Horizon Bluetooth uh, speakers, uh, 12 of the JBL Reflect Contour 2s. We had uh, 32 of the Sony WH-H910N uh, wireless headphones. And I think we ended up calculating that we had 30. So those are the 199 models. Uh, you know, we got some routers. We got some pretty decent things. And I just, I just don't like it when the top item's not there. Otherwise, I mean, I like the fact that the boxes were in really good shape. We had, I think, five or six items that didn't have the retail packaging. And other than that, I mean, you know, you had a lot of people that said they didn't like it. They, uh, that was the number one reason for the return. Some people say the item didn't work, but trust me, that uh, isn't always the case. A lot of times it's user error, especially with electronics. And, um, yeah, uh, C plus B minus. Definitely, these are going to be good flips. I can tell. Uh, into it for thirty four hundred. Retail eighteen hundred. Take away some of the items that aren't there. Actually, retail eighteen thousand. Uh, take away some of the items that aren't there, 
and you're dealing with maybe 17,000, but uh, you know, in it for 3,400, we're looking at about a 10,000 to 12,000 dollar return, and uh, I'll take triple. Heck, I take double my money. Um, after waiting six weeks, I'm definitely hoping for triple my money, and uh, easy, fl easy, easy flips here. We're we're dealing with 25 listings, uh, maybe 30 listings that are different listings. And, you know, like I can list a couple of these items. Let's say I have a 20 count on, on the uh, JBL Horizon Bluetooth speakers. All I have to do is go in and uh, test out two of them that are working, start my listing, and as I test more, I can just add to my listing. So guys, that's it. Tell me what you think below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and consider hitting that notification bell icon if you haven't yet already done so. Please tell me down below what you think of this uh, lot, this liquidation pallet. I know you didn't see the whole thing. It's probably a good thing you didn't because there's another 10 to 15 minutes of your life that you probably would not get back. So you can thank me or my phone for cutting out and saving you that time. Guys, do me one favor. Keep listing, keep making those sales, and just know one thing. I don't care what anyone tells you here. Flipping ain't easy. And we'll see you again very soon. <laughs>